Hey guys, this is Australian Boot Chinese with a new video in the Game Set series. How do you feel about the upcoming March and September sessions? I hope you're not stressing out too much and this video can help you in some way. Um, if you just started preparing for Game Set, I'm sure you will learn a lot of useful information from this video because everything here helped me beat Game Set with flying colors. There are three key steps in carrying out your very own ultimate Game Set strategy. Firstly, you must know your enemy well, and that means you need to have a good idea regarding the format, difficulty, and marking criteria of game set. Secondly, apply the formula which I will give you in this video and put in the variables according to your own circumstances. Last but not least, we must stay strong and see our preparation plans to the end, and this may very well be the most challenging part. The very first step to forming a good relationship with GameSet is to do exactly what Acer tells us to do even before we book the test. Read the exam information booklet. There is so much good information in this 30-page document, but sadly not every candidate does this important step. It takes no more than an hour and it's a good idea to refer back to this document when you have questions regarding the test format and marking criteria instead of relying on second-hand information. The next step is to do some sample questions so you know what you're in for and to get a good idea about what the questions of each section look like. Let's be honest, for the unprepared candidate, some of these questions can look very intimidating and leave you clueless. If you haven't been scared off by this point, good on you and you should start the preparation journey by watching some videos or attending information seminars to gain further insights about GAMSAT. At this point, you should be able to filter out practical and new information from the impractical and old information and consider whether others' advice and experience is transferable to your personal circumstances. And of course, that includes everything in my videos too. Okay, after the initial information gathering, now you should know the size of the task that is securing a desirable mark in GAMSAT. And for most of us, this is no small feat and a good preparation strategy is required. It is important to know that there is no one-size-fits-all strategy. If someone tells you there is, you should stay away because um, they don't understand that everyone goes into GAMSAT with their particular set of strengths and weaknesses. What I can offer is a formula that can turn this tremendous mission into achievable tasks by allowing you to develop the best preparation method for yourself. So without further ado, here is the formula. Think of GAMSAT as a driving test. How do you pass it? Well, you practice driving with your family to make sure your basic skills are up to speed. And most people would get some coaching from a professional instructor so they know what to expect at the driving test. This example highlights the only two ways to improve in GAMSAT, accumulation and practice. And this is true for almost all exams where the content is somewhat predictable. Let's go over what each variable means so you know how to use it. Target score minus current score is the improvement one will need between now and the next test. Uh, target score is easy to come up with and for most candidates, this will be between 70 to 80. Knowing your current score is easy if you have set GAMSAT. If not, you need to do a mock test. For the most accurate estimate, I recommend doing one of the ACER papers and the exam conditions and use this website to calculate your score. I've used this multiple times and can guarantee it is pretty damn accurate. My thanks goes out to whoever made this tool. Wide accumulation refers to things like reading classic books, revising science concepts, and even doing your essay assignments and keeping up with current affairs to build your arsenal for section two. In other words, activities which generally require consistent efforts over the long term and which may prove beneficial to GAMSAT in a less obvious manner. Personalized practice here refers to targeted work based on your own strengths and weaknesses, 
which will rapidly improve your marks, but only to a limit set by your background skills and knowledge gained through wide accumulation. T denotes time, and it is capitalized for the accumulation factor, because this part requires more time and sets a limit to how much improvement you can achieve with personalized practice, which includes doing mock tests or developing essay structures and examples. The time factor here is in lowercase because spending too much time on doing section 1 practice questions will not significantly increase your mark if your basic reading skills is not up to speed, as is common in English as second language candidates. Same goes for section 2 and 3. The key here is to have a good understanding of your own strengths and weaknesses and decide whether to focus on accumulation or practice for each of the three sections. To demonstrate how you would use this formula, here are some examples. Jack got 65 with little preparation in his last game set and is hoping to get 70 in the next one with less than two months left. In this case, the fact that he scored 65 means that his basic skills are probably good enough, and that combined with the limited time means that he will benefit most from a preparation strategy heavily focused on targeted practice, such as timed mock tests with an emphasis on his weaker sections. On the other hand, let's say Jane estimates that she can get 70 after doing a good amount of practice questions, but wants to push herself for an 80 in a year's time. Already, the size of the task is bigger since 80 minus 70 equals 10, and thus a considerable improvement when it comes to game set. Then, because she has plenty of time and let's assume she is very dedicated to her goals, she would want to focus on wide accumulation at the beginning by going over science concepts in detail, reading classical texts and poems on the side, while writing extensively on a variety of social and personal topics. As the exam approaches, she would want to switch to a more practice-focused strategy and ensure her mentality stays positive, because the pressure from GAMSAT is great for the best of us, and it would be such a pity to collapse right before the finishing line. I know I almost did. This formula explains why some people can just go into GAMSAT with little preparation and score 75 plus. No, it's not because they are a genius. It's just because whatever they have trained or studied over the years suited GAMSAT well which meant the accumulation part of the formula is insanely high, meaning they can get away with less practice. For most candidates though, the appropriate combination of the two parts is required to pass GAMSAT. Certainly that's how I got a seemingly impossible mark. For first-time sitters, I recommend a preparation period of six months with three months focusing on, on accumulation and practice each. If you can study for GAMSAT full-time, Cut this to 2 plus 2 months, but obviously the more preparation, the better. By far, the most important part of the whole preparation journey comes after you have developed your personalized strategy. Because no matter how well you plan to study, it is the actual grind that counts. Unfortunately, there is not much to be said here, since there is no shortcut to studying. But perhaps I will make a video in the future to share some thoughts on how to stay positive and not procrastinate. I have to admit I'm quite terrible at this myself, so I'm sure you can do a better job than me. I'd like to wrap up by saying that an exam that you can prepare for is an easy exam, because all you need is effort and time. With the right preparation strategy, you shouldn't need to rely on luck on the test day and will feel more confident with each question answered. Did this video give you a good idea as to how to prepare? Please drop a like if you did and ask me any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.